post-processing effects can take your 2D game to the next level. In this video, we'll cover the process of downloading and installing the Universal Render Pipeline in our 2D game. We'll set up the Universal Render Pipeline to use post-processing effects with our camera. This video is part of a much larger series where I cover everything you need to know for building your own 2D side view game. The project is available for free through my GitHub account and you can access that by clicking the link in the description below. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel and also check out my Patreon account if you want to donate that way. Also be sure to follow us on our social media accounts to get updates on the latest videos. All right, so in Unity, the first thing we have to do is download the Universal Render Pipeline from the Packet Manager. And to open the Packet Manager, let's navigate to the Windows tab and select Packet Manager. Let's search for the Universal Render Pipeline and click Install. Now we need to create a renderer that uses our universal render pipeline and to do that we need to right click in the project panel, navigate to create, select rendering, highlight the universal render pipeline and select the pipeline asset. I'll just get rid of the word new in the default name and press enter. And now we have these two new objects. We can delete the object ending in renderer and this would work if we had a 3D game but since we are in 2D we'll have to make our own. Fear not, that's pretty easy too. We'll right click in the project panel, navigate to rendering, highlight the universal render pipeline and select the 2D renderer. Again I'll modify the name by getting rid of the new keyword and let's select the pipeline asset and drag in our 2D renderer we just created. Next, we need to change the graphics setting so that our game uses the renderer we just created. We can do that by navigating to File and selecting Build Settings. In the Build Settings menu, uh, we'll open the Player Settings. We'll open the Graphics tab and drag in our Pipeline Asset into the Dropbox. Great, so now our renderer is set up, uh, let's create some post-processing effects. We'll need to add a component called volume to control the post-processing effects. You can do that by creating a new game object, uh, but here I'll just use the virtual camera game object to keep my project clean. I'll select the add component button and search for volume. You can generate a new profile by selecting the new button. Let's first add the vignette effect and I'll do that by clicking the add override. I'll select the post processing and click the vignette. Let's enable the color and intensity values. When I change the intensity, you can see the update to the camera view in the scene view, but not the game view. That's because we need to enable the post-processing effects for our camera, so let's select the camera in our hierarchy and under the rendering drop-down, let's change the renderer to 2D render data and enable post-processing effects. Now when we change the intensity, you can see the update in the game view. And there you have it, the basics of getting post-processing effects set up in your 2D game. What's up everyone? Thanks for watching. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure to follow us on social media to get the latest news updates.